welcome to third grade chapter four, lesson 10. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So we're going to start, and it says Miss Hernandez has 17 tomato plants that she wants to plant in rows. She will, plant, she will put two plants in some rows and one plant in the others. How many different ways can she make the plant? How many different ways can she plant the tomato plant? Make a table to solve. So all I did, so we know that every single time, there's going to be 17 because she has 17. Okay. So now I know that I can do 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So I can put 2 times 8 plus 1. Okay. So these are going to be the multiples. Okay. I can do 2 times 7 is 14. And 14 plus 3 is 17. I can do 2 times 6 is 12, plus 5 is 17. I can do 2 times 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17. I can do 2 times 4 is 8, plus 9 is 17. I can do 2 times 3 is 6, plus 11 is 17. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 13. And 2 times 1 is 2, plus 15 is 17. Okay? So it's just 2 times this number. So that's 16, plus 1 in the row of 1. Okay? So... Let's try that again. And it wants to know how many different ways she can do that. Well, we're just going to count how many times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different ways. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Bianca has a total of 25 cents. She has some nickels and pennies. How many different combinations of nickels and pennies could Bianca have? Make a table to solve. Well, she could have one nickel, which is five cents, right? And then she would have 20 pennies, right? She could have two nickels, which is 10 cents, plus 10 pennies. She could have three nickels, which is 15 cents. Oh, sorry, plus 15, not, not 10. She could have three nickels, which is 15 cents, plus 10 pennies. And she could have four nickels, which is 20 cents, plus five pennies. Okay, and each time that's going to equal 25 cents. Okay, so how many different ways can we do that? One, two, three, four. Four combinations to make 25 cents. Okay, so we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check just like always. Okay, do your best. There's just one of them today. Okay, all right. We're going to go down and do the spiral review. So it says to find the sum. So all we're doing is adding, guys. 7 plus 1 is 8. 1 plus 5 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. Done. Okay. A school cafeteria has an order for 238 hot lunches. What is 238? Round to the nearest 10. Well, 2, 3, 8. I need to round to the nearest 10. So I need to look at the last number here. If it's 5 or bigger, then that 3 goes up to a 4. If it's Four or smaller, it stays a three. Eight is bigger than five, so we're going to wind up with 240. Okay. If 12, oh, sorry, Tyler made a picture graph to show students' favorite colors. This is the key for the graph. So each one of the circles, okay, equals three votes. Okay. So if 12 students, so they want to know three times how many equals 12. Okay, how many should be in the green row of the graph? Okay, so three times what is 12? Well, three times four is 12, so four. Okay, and last but not least, there are five bikes in each bike rack at the school. There are six bike racks, five, six. How many bikes are in the bike rack? Five times six, well, that's 30 bikes. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for Chapter 4. Come on back for Chapter 5. See you soon.